gonna tell you the real reason Oklahoma keeps getting strapped with these early morning BS 11 a.m. kickoffs and all that's coming up after the bumper. What do you mean oh. you don't subscribe to my son's YouTube channel? Mama, no! Just snap the damn ball, RJ. What's up, kinfolk? It's RJ Young. I am not on a step mill. Consider hitting the like and subscribe button because I upload a video every single day. It's always OU related, college football related, sports related. We have a good time. Except right now. Because we got more 11 a.m. kickoffs this season, man. What is that? Look, news. All right, the news is Oklahoma recently released four kickoff times and broadcasters for four games on the schedule. Three of those games are the first three games of the season. The last one is Oklahoma at West Virginia, which will be on Black Friday. And if you believe most folks, it'll be a big game deciding who will play in the Big 12 title game, if not a rematch in the Big 12 title game. But the other three games are the opener, Florida Atlantic, where Oklahoma plays Florida Atlantic in Norman at 11 a.m. on Fox. The second one is UCLA in Norman at noon on Fox, which makes zero sense because that's 10 a.m. Pacific time. And then we got another 11 a.m. game in Ames against Iowa State. And this is all BS because all of these games are big games for OU and everybody else in college football. And this was put to OU Athletic Director Joe Castiglione who had this to say. I'm not happy about that at all and that's all I'm going to say. So clearly Joe C is pissed about it. And he should be because we have been in his ear for years because of all of these morning and early afternoon kickoffs. Like we can't get a seven o'clock home game to save our lives. We get like one a year. And if you're a fan and you are, you don't like waking up at oh dark 30 to try to get to the game on time. Let it go, no tailgating. Or your tailgating is a sausage biscuit from McDonald's to say nothing of how the stadium looks in the first quarter because my goodness, 11 a.m. on a Saturday. And I know that Lincoln Riley feels it because he puts a lot into recruiting around home games like every other college football head coach. And he said he is even mad about it. I'm glad we did a bunch of spring visits after they gave us those 11 a.m. kickoffs, he said. I had to talk to Joe to blow off some steam before I came in here on that one. I don't agree with it, but we're not the only ones making the call on it. There needs to be some equity. You don't need to have a string of them. Amen! So the buck stops at Big 12 Commissioner Bob Bowlesby. And he essentially punted, saying this. We sell the rights to those games and the network partners have selection prerogatives and starting time prerogatives and we provide the best feedback that we can. It's their decision to make for the most part. So the guy who used to be the athletic director at Stanford doesn't have a spine. And this is why nobody outside of the Big 12 takes this podunk league seriously. Look, your job as the Big 12 commissioner is to put the Big 12 in the best position to succeed and making your conference champion and best football program play at 11 a.m. in the morning three times in a row is not doing your job. So this is how we get back to these arguments about leaving the Big 12 because we are not respected. Do I need to remind anybody that Lincoln Riley made the college football playoff, put a Heisman on the podium, and didn't win coach of the year in his own conference? Oh no, because I just did. So the reason we keep getting 11 a.m. kickoffs is because we got a conference commissioner who won't go to bat with us with the ESPNs and Foxes of the world. Get us a new guy or get us out of the conference. Deuces. <laughs>